About three years ago, I got into a major car accident. I almost killed someone that night. There has to be more to it than that. And I think there's something you're not telling me. Listen, man, I brought you into this and I will take you out. Got to tell you, that sucks you right in hearing this storyline. Welcome back to Houston Life. This is a look at the new faith-based film called Jacob Broken by God. The film was shot and produced right here in Houston. And the cast and producers are joining us today on Houston Life. Welcome to the show, gentlemen, and congrats on the film. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So, Jeffrey, right here in the front row, you are the producer of the film. Right. Why was Houston the right spot to shoot and create this project? Wow. Um, just coming to Houston from Los Angeles, I realized, man, Houston is so big and so, uh, so much diversity. It would be a great place to start shooting films. So I just took a shot and took a chance and moved to Houston, brought my small production company here, and, and it's, it's working well so far. So. Wow, we love hearing that. There's so much talent in our city. We love to see um, production happening here. And Claude, you're the executive producer of the show. How did this group all come together? I mean, it seemed like it was probably some magic happening uh, That's here. a great question. So Jeff and I are part of a Saturday morning golf group. Okay, that's where the magic happens, right? That's where right? the magic happens <laughs> on the golf course. So, uh, you know, for several months, he and I have been talking about his project, and I knew that I had a, a good network of individuals that would be very interested in participating in that particular project. Um, so we had him come over to uh, our house, my wife and I, and he pitched it to a group of us. And uh, three of us came together, uh, uh, Nicole and Randall Wilson, as well as uh, Jim and Tawana Wilson, and my wife, uh, which is Deanna Green and we created uh, WGW Entertainment. And so we were able to help Jeff get his project going and also open up some opportunities for a lot of folks here in Houston. Well, and it's so fun seeing clips from this film and seeing Houston as the, the perfect backdrop. backdrop. Uh, the man you see on the screen right there is Shedrack Anderson. Did I say your name correctly? Yes, you did. And you play uh, the lead actor, Jacob. Let's talk about this role for you because I understand you've been acting for a while. You have seven industry awards. What attracted you to this role and this character? Well, the film is truly a testament to um, how incredible a script can be. And uh, the writers of the film, the producers uh, called me and they said, you know, Shed, we really want you uh, for this particular project. And Jacob Rowe is a character that I immediately uh, was drawn to because he's someone who at the beginning of his life, he has everything and in an instant, it's gone. And uh, the film is just incredible. Uh, the script is incredible, so I was just so happy to be able to play this role. It's really great. You, you hit on something, too, because I feel like in our circles, we've all said, we're, what is the saying? We're, we're only a few seconds away from dropping to our that's knees. Right. And so that's, that's right. what I think speaks mm -hmm. to me about this film. Uh, Brian, you're also uh, a supporting actor here. Tell me a little bit about your character in the film and why this film spoke to you. So my character is Jonathan Rowe, the big brother <laughs> to uh, to Shadrach's character here. And the big thing with this film is, is it spoke to me because I've had a lot of friends and family and people that have fallen off the path and I'm seeing them and they're trying to get it back together and I'm a piece being integral in yeah. bringing in watching them, watching them evolve and come back, which is amazing. And that's what makes this story so real. Kylan, uh, talk to us a little bit about the production process because any project, right, where it's sort of like a group project in school mm -hmm. where nobody carries their weight but one person does, you really need all cylinders firing, right, from mm -hmm. the director to the producers to the cast members, and it seems like you all have found a really strong team here. Well, you know, they say it takes a village to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I like a phrase that was said that if you see a turtle on the top of a fence, he didn't get there by himself. And that is really what's happening. And we, this project has come together and uh, it has been a catalyst for all of us to experience excellence on a new level. And uh, I was just glad to be a part of it. And the production is amazing. It's just second to none. It looks great. The trailer is incredible. Claude, you know, I think it's really incredible when you have a film, and we were just talking about curse words and we're laughing about this, but when you have a film that sort of has characters in, in the darkest part of their lives kind of reset focus on their faith. It's, it's what a lot of us do in real life, but not a lot of films are based on this, where we can gather with our friends and seeing a storyline like That's this. so true, and, and in this particular film, we're always looking for the next it, yeah. the, you know, the new pathway. And we really felt that this would be a, a huge opportunity 
to maybe delve that pathway and to show everyone something a little different than what they've been seeing uh, up until now. And I understand, Jeffrey, some local actors were used, artists, to help create the soundtrack for the film. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, Kylan is one of the artists on the soundtrack. We've got uh, Damon Valentine on the soundtrack, uh, Ashley Crawford, just some phenomenal talent. Again, that's what brought me to Houston, to, to tap into this untapped market of talent. And, uh, you know, they're going to be performing some of the songs at the premiere. So it, it's, it's, it's a great experience. It's going to be a great experience for everyone. We can't wait for it. So the premiere, the information is there on the screen. It's happening uh, Sunday, October 9th. This is at the Deluxe Theater, a beautiful spot for this on Lions Avenue. Screenings are a couple times. We have 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m. And keep your eyes out for not only the gentleman sitting here, but the rest of the cast and crew, right? Absolutely. F absolutely. Phenomenal cast and crew. And by the way, to purchase tickets to the screening, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, Houston life.tv gentlemen thanks so much for your time today and congratulations on the film thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. appreciate you coming here glad you made your way to houston yes.